What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again. Uh, we are headed out to Too Many Games, the convention down in Philadelphia today. And I'm gonna take some shots around the, the grounds and stuff. I'm gonna be filming the, the festival and the convention for you. <clears throat> they have uh, some game tournaments going on. They have a lot of vendors. Um, they've got uh, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, game Chasers are gonna be there. Um, Angry Video Game Nerd's gonna be there. Uh, just a whole bunch of cool stuff. Lucky Fun Times down there. Adam, Adam and Jen and John and all them are down there. So uh, I'm gonna take you down and show you around. And uh, might be a lengthy video, but uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy. And we're gonna head down and uh, just you know, my my friend uh, John, my coworker, and uh, friend John are, is gonna be going with me and uh, maybe doing some filming for me and everything else. So it's gonna be a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoy.
shirts and stickers, which I do this year. This song was done by the Eagles, who the dude hates. But uh, it was, there was a great version of it done by like, the Gypsy Kings in the movie. It's a flamenco. Flamenco covers of the Eagles on Game Boy is what you're about to listen to. Enjoy. <laughs>
All right, guys, back in the game room, back after too many games. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the footage. Uh, there was a lot going on, as you could see. And, um, you know, I tried to capture as much of the different stuff going on as I could for you guys. Um, as, as my official review um, for too many games, it definitely gets an A-plus from me. Um, it, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, my buddy John, who went with me, uh, is more of a comic book guy than he has video games, uh, even he found stuff to buy. He found some comic books, he found some shirts, uh, some cool stuff, and even he had a good time. So, I mean, it's, it's for really for everybody. If you're into comics, into games, into just characters, into whatever, um, it's just an awesome, awesome convention. Uh, fully, fully recommend going next year if you guys have never been to it. Uh, I will definitely be there next year. Um, basically, the only reason I'm back in the game room here is just to show you what I picked up uh, for the fans of the channel. Um, the first thing I'll show you is is my media pass. So as soon as I got there, I picked up my media pass, as you can see, and uh, you know just just got me into the convention and stuff. And obviously, to make the video that I make, uh, or that I should say that I made and that you just watched, uh, so that was my pass that I'll be hanging up here in the game room. First thing you got when you walked in the door was a free program, and as you can see, it kind of looks like a Nintendo Power. Uh, it basically, has everything that was going on in the festival, the locations of everything. Uh, who's going to be there, what time they're going to be there, all that good stuff. So that's, that was kind of cool, kind of just like a cool souvenir there to, to hang on to. Uh, uh, first thing I picked up, uh, as you saw from some, some of the clips of the musicians that played concerts, uh, you saw the clip of the Bit Brigade. Um, fully just blown away by those guys. I mean, they were absolutely amazing uh, to the point that I actually did buy one of their, one of their albums. Uh, this one is called Big Bit Brigade Presents Mega Band. And it is literally a CD of them playing all Mega Man music. So as you can see on the back here, um, all mostly from Mega Man 2. And then there are some other ones mixed in like Sparkman, um, uh, Dr. Wily's Castle 3. Uh, intro is, is, you know, there, there's, there's a couple of tracks from Mega Man 3 and a couple from Mega Man 4. But I would say 85% of the CD is all from Mega Man 2. It's absolutely awesome. It has not left my, the CD's not even in here. It's in my car. So, uh, but that was 10 bucks and uh, I couldn't pass it up from the Bit Brigade. That was an absolutely awesome album. Um, you know, please check them out if you can. Um, let's see. Uh, one of the, th the things I thought was kind of cool, it was, I got I picked it up from the convention, but it was not from, um, not from any vendor. Uh, I actually met up with Doug and Jen again, as you, if you guys remember from Sailorsburg Flea Market a couple weeks back. Um, he told me he had a box of games that he was going to bring in, trade, sell, whatever, and he wanted me to have a crack at it before he did. Um, unfortunately, all the games he had, I already had in my NES collection, but there was one thing he had um, that uh, I did pick up from him, and that is an NES Game Genie, uh, which I don't have, and it also came with the Game Genie book. Um, basically, I told him, you know, I was just appreciative that he, that he held it aside you know, for me to look through his box and everything else. Uh, asked him how much he wanted for it, and he gave it to me for nothing. He just gave it to me for free, and um, basically under the conditions that someday we'll go to a flea market together and go game game chasing together, and that's that's awesome. I mean, I'm always looking for someone to go to uh, flea markets with. So uh, I tried to offer him something for it. He wouldn't take any money, um, but you know, once again, thank you, Doug, for that. That's just absolutely awesome, awesome uh, addition for my NES collection. So then uh, from the inside. Uh, we'll go through the non-game stuff first, and then we'll go through uh, the games I picked up. Uh, souvenirs, of course, you know, Mindy and Allie weren't, weren't there with me, so I told them I would pick them up something. Uh, I couldn't find too much for, for Mindy, but I did find a kind of a cool shirt for her, um, and that is, uh, hold on one second, got a piece of tape on it, there we go, uh, is a 1UP t-shirt. So as you can see, it just has the 1UP mushroom, it just says 1UP. Uh, official Nintendo seal, so it is an official Nintendo licensed shirt. So I picked that one up from Mindy. Figured that was that was kind of cool for her to wear, and she uh, she's at least she told me she liked it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure she likes it though. So I picked that up for her, and then for for Allie, it's it's a little bit tougher because she's little. If I got her a shirt, something she outgrows it within like six months, and then it's useless. So um, and I did find a vendor who. Um, made everything by hand, uh, stuffed animals, uh, Christmas stockings. I mean, she actually had a, a panel on cosplay and everything else. Um, so I did pick these up from, from her for Aliana. And um, I'm going to have the information pop up below here uh, so you can get a hold of her if you, if you are interested in ordering anything from her. Uh, but I did pick up a Miss Pac-Man and Ghost stuffed animal, made completely by hand. 
and they are you know soft plushy for uh for Aliana. Figured, you know, kids like stuffed animals for a couple of years and she would get more use out of these. So I picked these up for her. So those are those are Aliana souvenirs, baby card shark, so to speak. And then uh the one t-shirt I picked up for myself, I saw this couldn't I could never leave without picking this up. It's an absolutely amazing, amazing t-shirt. Uh hopefully you guys can appreciate it like I do. But that t-shirt is of Harvest Moon. Uh, I'm not even sure which Harvest Moon it's from. I don't think it really matters to me, honestly. But uh, as you can see, there's there's the guy farming right there, watering the plants. You've got the, the little gnomes or elves, your dog, the, you know, bunch of animals. But uh, absolutely amazing Harvest Moon t-shirt that I picked up from one of the vendors there. Um, I don't remember the vendor's info. If I did, I would I would definitely post it for you guys, but I don't remember his info. Unfortunately, I didn't grab a, a business card. So, uh, And then the last thing I picked up, which is, oh, actually not the last thing, the next to the last thing, um, pick up a book, which is very rare for me. I don't really read a lot of books, but I've heard a lot of good things about this book, and it just so happens that the author of the book was there. So he was there selling the book and also signing the copies as you bought them, uh, but the book is called How Nintendo Conquered America, and this is actually the second version, as you can see right there, is with a new chapter in addition there, um, but for 15 bucks, I picked up the the uh, the book How Nintendo Conquered America by Jeff Ryan, and uh, on the inside cover, he uh, signed it, and it says uh, it says to Josh keep marching to the beat of a different plumber, which I thought was kind of cool, and then signed it down the bottom here for me. So uh, definitely a book I'm, I'm looking forward to reading. Um, just absolutely awesome how Nintendo started from the very beginnings up through the Wii U. Uh, the new chapter covers up to the Wii U. So. Um, absolutely awesome like history of Nintendo in, in America, which um, I'm really looking forward to, to giving that a read. And then the last thing I picked up, uh, Geek Boy Prince. Uh, I know I, I definitely had footage of his booth, and I purposely took uh, footage of his booth because I purchased two prints from him to hang in the game room here, and I just thought they were absolutely amazing and wanted to let you guys in on how to get a hold of some for yourselves. Uh, the first one I picked up is, uh, they're, I, I believe they're both like 4x6 or 5x7. I want to say 5x7. Uh, but the first one I picked up is a, an original drawing of Voltron. And as you can see, it's under like a piece of glass here. And then he puts clips on it. And then that has a little nail hole so you can actually hang it on your wall pretty easily. So uh, Voltron was my favorite cartoon growing up. And um, just absolutely had to have this when I saw it. So it was, uh, there were six bucks a piece or two for ten. So I picked up two for ten bucks. Uh, the next one I picked up, there's a story behind it. And we'll get to the story uh, in about a minute or so. Um, the, the, the other one I picked up here is one of Mega Man and it's Mega Man and a couple of the different bosses. You can see Cut Man there and some of the other ones. Um, I, I just, I just love the I absolutely love his artwork. I thought it was really awesome. Um, made sure that I got his information to pass along to you guys because it's just an absolutely awesome, just awesome deal. Just awesome artwork. So, I mean, he was selling them for two for 10 bucks for, of that size. Um, if you, once you see the game room, you'll know that I have very little wall space left. So that size is perfect for the, you know, I can, I can find room to, and, um, like kind of piece them into the wall here. So, um, those were all the gaming things that were non games. Now I'm going to bust out into the games now. Uh, no particular order. Well, there is, I'm saving two for last, but whatever. Uh, picked up one game for the Sega CD and that is called the software Toolworks star Wars chess, star Wars chess for the Sega CD. Uh, I've heard about this game. And never played it before. Thought it would be a really awesome addition to the collection. Never really seen it before in the wild. And um, just thought it was was an awesome deal. And uh, picked it up to complete. It's got the little foam, everything in there. So Star Wars Chess for the Sega CD was the first one. Uh, let's see. Pulling out some couple of the commons here. Uh, just two common NES games I needed. And I found them and picked them up for you know, a couple bucks a piece. Uh, first one is Super Team Games. Guaranteed game I will not play because it's a power pad type game, but in really great shape and um, Just just you know just what I needed for the collection back there, and I decided to pick it up uh, The second one I picked up again for juice. I'd say it was like five bucks give or take something like that the game is called silkworm This looks like a, a battle game. I'll probably give this one a, a shot see what happens, but uh, silkworm for the NES and that was the uh, another con just another common title I picked up um, Another common, I think it's pretty common, I don't know, I'm not really schooled too much in the PS1 era, but uh, for the PlayStation 1, uh, big fan of these types of games, absolutely love them. Uh, picked up Civilization 2, 
for the PS1. Again, not, not too sure about the rarity or anything like that. I really don't care. Um, I saw this and I just knew I had to have it. It was just one of those games I love to play. Uh, just in really, really good shape and uh, obviously complete. And you, know, you got the black bottom, black bottom disc there and uh, everything's cool. So Civilization 2 for the PS1. Uh, let's see, what else do I have cooking here? I've uh, got, uh, this game, I'm sure it's probably bad, but it seems like a platformer, and, uh, I came across this game at three different booths, and every booth I was, like, flipping through games, and I picked this one out for some reason. By the third time, John looks at me and goes, dude, you've picked that up three different times, just buy it already, like, just buy it. You know, I was like, well, I don't know what it's about, I don't know if it's any good, he goes, I don't care, I'm telling you right now, just buy it. You've picked it up three times at three different locations, just pick it up, so I did, um, and uh, I'm hoping it's pretty good, but who knows? But it's a game for the Super Nintendo called Super Troll Island, or Islands, sorry, Super Troll Islands. And uh, I believe it's like the little trolls with the weird, wacky hair and stuff. Who knows if it's any good, but uh, definitely one that I've never really come across before and just seemed like a fun time. It was pretty cheap, so I picked it up. I just figured, what the hell? Um, and John talked me into it for the most part, so. Um, and then let's see what else I got going on here. A uh, bunch of pamphlets, brochures. Um, all right, let's see. The only Super Nintendo game I picked up, um, saw this in the case, uh, have heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, it's a game by Atlas, and I know it's, it's a game that people are highly seeking, I guess. Uh, I saw it, the price was right, I was able to, to negotiate and talk them down a couple bucks. Uh, but the game I picked up is Snowboard Kids 2 for the N64. Snowboard Kids 2, absolutely in great shape. And uh, like I said, I was able to haggle a little bit, got a couple bucks knocked off the price, uh, made it a, a really good deal. So I picked it up, Snowboard Kids 2, made by Atlas for, this, for the N64. Um, all right, now going back to the, the, uh, the backstory of picking up this print right here. Uh, the reason I picked up this print was because of a couple of games I picked up. One from Lucky Fun Time uh, for my NES collection, and that is Mega Man 1. And as you can see, it is in really good shape one of the ones I needed for the Mega Man collection. So Mega Man 1 was one that I picked up, hence the Mega Man art print. And the last one I picked up, randomly found it at some guy's booth, and the price was definitely right. Um, and I, and this game completes my N, uh, NES um, Mega Man collection. And again, hence why I picked this up, because it commemorates the day I completed my NES Mega Man collection. And that game is Mega Man 5. Absolutely thrilled to have this in my collection. I, I do have Rockman 5 for the Famicom. I now have... Mega Man 5 for the NES completing. I have a, uh, a holder up on the wall up here which holds just the Mega Man games and now I can actually have 1 through 6 complete. Uh, so I did pick up Mega Man 1 and 5 which were the last two I needed to complete to complete that collection. And then I got this a little bit later on because I figured it was appropriate being I had just completed that collection. So, um, And then the last two games I picked up and that will wrap it up here. Um, as you guys know, Kung Fu is my ultimate favorite game. Um, not because it's the greatest game of all time, but just because I have a lot of good memories as a kid with it. Um, I have Kung Fu Complete in Box. I have Spartan X, which is the Japanese Famicom of Kung Fu Complete in Box. I have my Kung Fu Master arcade machine. You guys, you guys know the history there. Um, I found a copy of Kung Fu Master I didn't own, and I was just flabbergasted, so I picked it up. Uh, for the Atari 7800 is Kung Fu Master right there. Um, actually sold by a guy who I've been to before, right down in Merchant Square Mall in Allentown. Um, but ironically enough, he didn't have this ever when I was there. So Kung Fu Master for the Atari 7800, which I just absolutely... I, I know it's terrible, I've seen gameplay of it, but, um, you know, it's Kung Fu Master, I can't turn it down. And then the very last one I picked up, um, as you guys... I don't, know if I, I don't know if I did show you or not in the video, but um, they had homebrews for sale. They had original games as well as remakes. Um, and I couldn't pass this up because this game was never released in America, only for Japan and only on the Famicom system. Um, from what I understand, I have not played this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, completely redone in English uh, for the NES on an NES cartridge, and that is Kung Fu 2. Now this game, like I said, never got released in America. It never got released as Kung Fu 2. It was, I believe, Spartan X 2, if I remember correctly. Uh, but somebody actually went through the trouble of taking this game and putting it into English and then putting it onto a cartridge and everything else and releasing it. Um, this game right here was limited to 50 copies for the entire convention. So 
Uh, I was able to grab one of the 50 copies that were for sale. Um, I contacted Jen and Adam down at Lucky Fun Time and said, please, like, I didn't get there till Saturday, so I said, please, on Friday, first thing, just grab me a copy. I'll, you know, pay for it, and then I'll pay you. And they did, and um, I just, I'm so appreciative that they did that for me because literally I think there was two copies left by the time I got there, and, you know, it was selling fast. So, um, but Kung Fu 2 for the NES, an absolute awesome, awesome pickup. And uh, that's going to wrap up this whole review and everything of the convention too many games 2014 guys those were my the pickups i purchased for myself and for mindy and for the baby and um hopefully you guys got a good idea of what it's about and hopefully um you know you, you guys will attend next year I, I will definitely be there i will make sure i'm there and uh we we can do a definitely definitely do a meetup uh, i had a couple people randomly come up to me and just say hi uh that they knew me from from youtube as ac card shark and everything else one one I can't. I don't even know who she was. She. I didn't even have a chance to ask her her name. But she uh, congratulated me on on the birth of my daughter and everything, which was just it was just awesome. I just absolutely love meeting up with you guys, and um, you know, just another instance of, of of doing that. And you know, to get up to to get to meet up with the game chasers was awesome, as you guys saw the picture and the, the you know the couple seconds of video of of uh, me meeting them. Uh, didn't get a chance to see Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh, had to leave before his autograph signing and meet and greet because um, I had to get to work that night. But um, I, I, I'm sure I'll run into him at some point. Um, I believe I'm, I'm definitely going to be heading down to RetroCon, which is in the exact same location in, in Oaks, Pennsylvania. And uh, he's usually actually at the, at the RetroCon as well. So hopefully I'll get to meet him there. Um, you know, like, like I said, the Game Chasers were there. A bunch of you know, YouTube subscribers. I got to meet up with you guys, and that was awesome. Uh, got to go you know, picking through some games and finding some games I would have probably never found for at least for a while. Um, just an absolute awesome time with a bunch of awesome people. A lot of just, just everyone's there for the games, and it's just that much fun. So um, two thumbs up for me, guys. Five stars, A+. Plus. Absolutely awesome. Great time, and I uh, can't recommend it enough. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know this video was lengthy, um, but I, I, like I said, I tried to cover as much as I possibly could for you. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Till next time, AC Card Shark. Take care.